gonna clean it up. It's your mess. You threw up on the floor. You, you dropped all your liquor on the floor. You did that, not us. So why would we clean it up? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've been getting a lot of requests on Instagram to do story times. So today I am going to do a story time about my worst roommate story. And I hope you guys enjoy it. It was in college. It was crazy. But before we start, make sure you like, subscribe, and share at the bottom. And let me know if there's any other stories you want to hear about. And here we go. So, when I was in college, my second university, I had requested to be with someone near my age group. So I transferred as a junior from one school to another, and I really did not want a freshman or sophomore roommate. And I also requested that if they had international students, I would love to live with an international student. So. I drive 14, 15 hours all the way to Illinois. My parents are with me. We have all of my stuff and we um, get to my room. So when we open the door to my room, the first thing we notice is there's alcohol bottles everywhere. Now at this time, I wasn't 21 yet, but there were alcohol bottles everywhere that it was just dirty when i when i mean alcohol bottles like hard liquor and it wasn't just like one bottle it was like tons empty bottles full bottles half open bottles just like laying on the floor so i was like and also let me explain this so it was a suite so basically it was a room the living room the bathroom and then the other room and so i was praying that whoever this person was because it looked like they were there over summer session that they weren't my roommate in my suite so i got to meet one of the girls in the other suite she was nice she, me and her are actually still friends now and her roommate who's also my friend was an international student so i was like oh crap i got the girl with the alcohol so i go into the physical room and when you go in the physical room it's even worse like she had bottles on my bed she had bottles on the floor she had bottles everywhere i hadn't even met this girl yet and like we already knew it was gonna be a problem so all the parents were there and they were kind of conversating like uh do we like what do we do because they're not 21 and they're staying with someone who obviously likes to drink so never met the girl in the daytime we went back to our orientation and then when we came back that evening and like our parents were like saying goodbye to us she came and when i say she was like lit like she was lit lit like she came in stumbling like slurring her words and i was just like bro like you knew that you were getting three new roommates today why didn't you get this together but she was not very concerned she came in she grabbed a bottle she left and my parents were like do you feel comfortable staying here and i was like well to be honest with you like there's nothing i can do about it right now so i might as well just like deal with this and then we'll see what happens if maybe she is a decent person maybe you know this is maybe she was lonely i don't know i slept there that night she never came back so the next morning i wake up to someone throwing up like all i heard was just like Ugh! right and i looked and i was just like what the hell it was her and she was like literally in the bathroom like chucking and through that moment her and her friend also dropped a bottle of alcohol on the floor and the whole bottle like like just broke and i just was very confused i wasn't gonna clean it up because i know it wasn't my responsibility to clean it up and i know her like that so i was just like uh like you know are you gonna clean it up no she wiped herself off she put on some new clothes and she left the room she left the bathroom smelling throw up and she left that bottle that she cracked in the floor with the liquor on it on the floor behind the sofa so i never forget my friend karen she was like i'm not cleaning that up and i was like i'm not cleaning up either that's that girl stuff when i said that alcohol sat there 
on the floor for three days because she went MIA. Like, we didn't even know where she was. Like, who knows? It was gone, girl, to be honest with you. And we reported it to our RA. We were like, hey, like our roommate, she like spilled a bunch of liquor on the floor, threw up and then left. And uh, our roommate, I mean, our RA was like, well, you guys are all underage. Like she shouldn't be having liquor on camp on in your room and if she does it should be like locked up or like you know somewhere where it's for her not in the living space and i never get my other room it was like yeah like it's in the living space it's all over the living space it's literally on the floor of the living space and so he came in and like he saw it and he was just like okay bro like this is crazy so at the time i didn't know this like they had all this is a very small school so before I got there, I think that my whole class, like in transfers, internationals, and and new students were, well, first time students were all the biggest class this university has ever seen. So most of these, before us, most of these people all knew each other, like they knew each other personally. So he knew who she was. He knew her very well. He had partied with her. He knew, he knew who, what she was about. And you could tell he was trying to like, cover for her not like in a sense but like try to like you know look out for her because he pro he obviously knew something was wrong with her and me i just thought she was just crazy so i was just like get her out but i'll never forget one night she came in at like four o'clock in the morning and she asked me like did you snitch and i was like no i didn't snitch like i said obviously anybody who can walk into the room can smell the liquor on the floor and see all the bottles everywhere and she was like well did nobody clean it up i said no nobody was gonna clean it up it's your mess you threw up on the floor you, you dropped all your liquor on the floor you did that not us so why would we clean it up i said that's crazy she was like so y'all let it sit there yes we let it sit there for four days i was like I am a grown adult. I said, I don't pick up other people's stuff. And I said, you also said you were coming right back. And obviously, if I would have spilled a bunch of liquor on the floor, obviously, at some point, I would have cleaned it up. And she was just like, well, you know, I just thought you guys were here all the time. So somebody, no, I was like, no, nobody did it. Uh, everybody just left it there or whatever. So she was just like, okay, well, uh, I have to go talk to the RAs because they're saying that my roommates are not happy with us living together. And I was like, okay, we'll go see them. So after that, she put in a complaint that we were not trying to get to know her. Like there was a barrier or like some type of ethnical barrier. Well, think about this. I'm African American. The other girl that I'm talking about, the other two girls that were in the other room, one was from Japan and the other one was Caucasian. She was literally from a small, she's from a small town in Illinois. So I was just kind of confused on what she thought. Like we weren't, we were, we had these, these huge ethnical barriers. I was like, okay, yeah, we might be different races, but I don't think that it has anything to do with hygiene or cleanliness or being a responsible person. And I, I like, we all had to have, a, well, first me and her had a meeting with the head of the, the uh, residential life department. And basically they were like, do you guys think you can fix this? And they gave us a stupid checklist. And I was like, to be honest with you, I don't share anything with her anyway. So I was like, does this even really matter? And she was like, well, you know, she said you guys are having barrier problems and like cleanliness and respect problems. So maybe you guys can make a checklist. And I was like, but the thing is, is that I don't want her touching any of my stuff. So I'm going to clean my stuff. All my request for her is, is for her to clean up her stuff. We don't have to separate duties or make this list. I said, this is unnecessary. I said, I just need her to be an adult and pick up her stuff. And she was like, okay, well, have you said that to her? And I said, yes, I've said that to her on multiple occasions. I said, she knows that everybody knows that. Like you can ask people who don't even live here, who come and hang out. Like her stuff is everywhere. Her underwear is everywhere. Everything is everywhere. Like you can see it. And she was like, well, we don't just kick people out. We do a three strike. So she's never had a strike. And I was like, she's never had a strike. Well, she's never had a strike in the RA residential life department and I was like really okay so she so after that after Ari left me and her were alone and she was like I just wanted to like I usually have what she told me she said I usually have a room to myself but like my parents really wanted me to meet new people and I was just like okay and she was like yeah and like I was hoping that 
you know we could start over and i was like okay that's fine like we can start over all i ask is that you respect everyone's space and clean up your mess and she was like yes i'll try better or whatever so we um then started having me and the other three girls created mutual friends and so when we created mutual friends we would invite them over we would have like food nights and like stuff like that we would hang out and so she really wasn't invited in a sense but whatever like she came and so she would come and like she would look around and like make awkward faces and stuff like that and i used to be like okay well you don't have to stay here like you can go in the room or like go hang out with your friends and she was like no i just want to connect with you guys and i was like okay cool and so time went on about a week or two and she was just like back to her old ways again so, like this time she like really violated she actually brought in like extremely hard liquor she got drunk and she passed out on the couch and we had to call the RA department because we were like we don't know what to do with her like I don't know her medical information I was like girl she I don't know shoot so at that time that violated two two strikes at once and she was actually banned from campus so after that I never saw her again so yeah that's my worst roommate story so if you ever do random roommates don't be afraid to get their asses out of the room. I swear, if you feel like you don't feel safe, you don't feel comfortable, either you get out or they get out. Like, I don't think that, there's certain things that you can fix, I'm not gonna lie, but there's a lot of things you can't fix. And for sure, me and her, we weren't gonna fix her cleanliness problem, cause that's something that goes back light years from like when she was a child. Cause nobody in a right mind throws up drops bottles of liquor and leaves it there for three days and expects other people that they don't know or they didn't ask to just clean it like i'm not your maid i said the other two girls are not your maid i said this is college like you gotta get it together this is not what it is and like she would go around campus saying things about me and i used to be like okay bro like we just met like you don't know me like, I, yeah, I told you to pick your shit up. Like, I don't know how that's, like, being disrespectful or being rude or being unkind. Like, pick your shit up. Like, I don't think there's any... I don't think there's anything to say about anybody who just wants you to be, like, a regular or normal person. Like, that's crazy. But she was gone. And then the next two roommates I had were fabulous. They're wonderful gals. I enjoy them. I really enjoyed both of them and both of them left me, but it's okay. It wasn't my fault. We're still friends. They wanted to leave because they wanted their own room or they wanted to go back home, which is understandable. So that's it guys. So if you like this story, make sure you like, subscribe and share at the bottom and let me know what you think. And until next time, bye.